started. Oh, right. Okay. <laughs> so we've got uh, Lee, who's... Blue box on wheels. Blue box on wheels, yeah. but it's not blue. No, it was blue. It was this blue. And then, ah. for some reason, these vans have this odd thing. You see there, that's got white. Underneath, it's white. Yeah. Uh, and this was the original colour. It's not been sprayed. But bits of paint start flaking off, and you see them around with like, big patches of white on. So uh, it had that problem. And so I got some military paint, five litre tin, sanded it down, and then I, I rolled it on neat, no, mm -hmm. no thinners and I did uh, two coats and this is what we've got and it's a nice finish yeah it is it's not bad at all the color is RAF blue gray but it looks more gray in certain lights and more greeny blue in other lights right and, uh, so anyway right where are we going to start wherever you like well, you, you're, Just, you're... I, I'll open this door uh, and then you'll probably come through I guess <laughs> <coughs> the, the reason I went round is the handle doesn't work on the outside for some reason at the moment. So, so this is a swivel seat. You alright? Yep. You in? Yep. Uh, swivel seat comes round and I've got this table here. And this is where you do some of your work? Yeah, yeah? this is where I write my music. I've got a little keyboard that's under the seat at the moment that just sits there and I've got my laptop and I write music. So that's, that's that. I mean that's quite a neat little yeah. yeah. It does it goes all so you can sort of swirl mm. it around into all kinds of different angles. Um yeah. And uh this used to be closed off, but then I've I've done it now so I've got like a it's all not finished, but that door goes across so you... a piece of wood that fits in there and that seals it off completely from the cab when I'm, yeah. when I'm camping. Um, yep, yeah. I've changed this. I could get out the side door, but I didn't want to because I never used it. Mm -hmm. So, so change this. Spent extended the bed. Um, yeah. So you got your sink. Sink, yeah. And a bit double burner. Yeah, double yeah. burner. Double gas hob. Um, runs off. Uh, it runs off LPG that you get from the petrol station. Fill it up. There's not so many of them now, mm. which is making it tricky. But I could change it back to colour gas and pay double the price. <laughs> yes. That you need to. Uh, to. To the side there, you've got the toilet bathroom. Just pull it. Ah, right. So, yeah, it needs a bit of a tart up, really. It's been nine years. Yeah. It's been used. Uh, it's all fiberglass, so it's waterproof. All fiberglass, waterproof, yep. and your toilet. Toilet is a compost toilet, so you much easier for yep. me anyway. Um, don't like the chemical toilets. Why is that? You think the environment or? Um, well, I don't. I don't like the stuff. What it does to the environment because it's not. It's not good stuff that's in there. Um, but it's not nice. I didn't like mm. emptying it, and it needed emptying quite frequently. Whereas the compost toilet, I can put in my own compost bin at home. And it's been, I think, it's four, four years or so, more, maybe more, and it's still not full because it goes obviously, down. Obviously, obviously, yeah, yeah. And uh, so I just take it all back, and it, it doesn't smell really. There's no big issue with it. It probably would have you stuck your head in it. <laughs> I'm not going to do that. Well, I, when you open that door, did it smell? No, no. no. There you go then. <laughs> and you see, you were saying earlier that it's got a fan in there to yeah. aerate it. And... There's a little button there, and that's just a fan, so I just turn that on and leave that on. So as soon as I'm in the van, mm -hmm. and I use the toilet, I just put that on and leave it on. And where's that venting then? That goes out the bottom of the van. Right. Um, it, it should, if you went near it, and sat there, I'm sure there would be an odour. But, but it, who's going to do that? Exactly, yeah. yeah. Um, you can put a carbon scrubber filter on it um but i never really need see the point to, yeah, no. never really need to so yeah and the cushions you had the cushions i bought the foam cut ready made to the <coughs> size and then i got on somebody to uh, got somebody locally to do the upholstery yeah um so these are all done by yeah and i think that upholstery. shows yeah that. I, I think they're much better for it because yeah. they're just they're just neat and they? these these bits go Sort of, you know, they've all got zips on as well, which means it can be taken off. These go in the middle. Um, there's a there's a piece of wood 
yep. and the table that go across there to make the, the double bed. Um, but when I'm where we are, I just tend to use this single yeah. bed here. And um, can I ask what's below? Yeah, you can. Well, this is a, again, this is quite a new addition. Ah. I, I thought it would make sense to, because if you've got dead space in the van, I mean, all, how often would I stand there? And I came to the conclusion that it'd be a good storage area. Mm. And so I put that box in and there's loads in there. Um, I've got storage under the seats as well. And, uh, I've got water under the seats as well, in, in 10 metre containers. Mm -hmm. Which if you, if you look down there at the kitchen, you'll see. Swing round. Oh yes, yeah. I just use the 10 litre containers, because I can carry them easily. Yeah. And uh, I can store them under seats and, and things. There's, there's three in the shower at the moment, because I've got 10 on board for a trip. I don't want to run out of water while I'm wild camping. And uh, I just find them convenient, really. And yeah. if they get algae in them, you can just get rid of them and get new ones. They're not expensive. Mm. So, um, what else? He has these storage up here, speakers, standard, you know, yeah. Harvey speakers. Yeah. I'll move out of the van so you can come in a bit more. And you'll see then that I've got the... All your electrics the on one side. Yeah, so... We, we thought there, there used to be a TV there, but I never watched watched it. So I took that out recently, and I still need to sort of sort out the electrics in that corner at some stage. Um, but that's a graphic equaliser going to an amplifier because uh, I've got a bass speaker under the seat, so I've got some good sounds mm -hmm. when I have the music playing. It's loud. But yeah, and I've got like main sockets as well, but I rarely do hook up these days. No. Um, just don't need so to. So you solar? Solar, yeah, I've got a 120 watt panel and an 80 watt panel. I could do with a bit more in the winter. And then I've got two uh, in, in that cupboard at the end there, which you're welcome to have a look in. I've got two AGM batteries, mm -hmm. 130 amp hours each. Yep. Yep. Yeah. And I've got the Victron Solar MPP tin. <laughs> And the battery to battery charger, which is Victron as well. Yeah. And uh, yeah, it works quite well, really. I wouldn't mind lithium, but it's too expensive. Yes. <laughs> Crazy money. Yeah. So that'll have to wait. So if I come out, yeah. we'll have a go at the back. Yeah. So this side, I've got my. Uh, Diesel tank, I've got a Chinese diesel heater, and uh, got me gas. Yeah. The same system as we got gas it. Yeah. 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 It's all right. I mean, I like it, but it's just to say the fact it's harder to get the gas now. It's slightly annoying, really. And the back has just got rubbish <laughs> under the seats. Really. It's the garage, isn't it? It's the garage. Yeah. It's got yeah. some storage in there. Yeah. Yeah. So. Mm. That's kind of it, really, I suppose. Yeah. Isn't it? I've got a Wi Fi area, but I don't know how much good that does, to be honest. Have you, have you tried? No. <laughs> it's not bad for a roller, I don't think. No, I think it's uh, finishes nice. It's got the docking lights. Yes, yeah. Bursting into dark. <laughs> docking lights, basically. Not knocking docking lights, like that. No, no, no. Not knocking pedestrians. Not happened yet. So. Not happened yet. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think the mirror would hit them first, probably. But mm -hmm. um, so they're useful, and also the security. So if you've got, you re filming me. You're doing that, right. but first so, I'm doing this one so we don't counter. If, if you're like out in the middle of nowhere and you hear yeah. something, and this happened once, I had to get the keys, and by the time I got the keys and put them in the ignition, turn the lights on, I couldn't see anything. All, because all I could see was in front, I couldn't see down the sides or behind. So with these and those and the one on the other side, I've got switches to the leisure battery and I just flip them on and they all come on like floodlights. So it's, it's, it's nice. Thank you. No problem.